Alright guys, this is Mark Boy 360 with another video and today it's going to be my review of Teen Wolf 1 and Teen Wolf 2. First one stars Michael J. Fox, came out in 1985 and uh, actually first one's very good, very good movie. It's about uh, Michael J. Fox who discovers that he turns into a werewolf and uh, his father uh, was hoping that it would skip a generation and he says hey, he tries to help uh, Scott, uh, Michael J. Fox, to uh, deal with uh, being turning into a wolf, and he, he's on the basketball team, which never wins, and he uses his, I guess, his ability to turn into a wolf to help the basketball team and stuff, and he gets popular and all that, and then all of a sudden people start maybe start turning on him because he's getting popular and like, all the girls like him and stuff like that, and uh, he starts. Uh, kind of being a little cocky and because he's the wolf and he can do everything and, but then he starts losing his friends and stuff like that and the love interest in the movie uh, likes him for him not for being the wolf and uh, it's a pretty good pretty good movie I uh, highly uh, recommend it uh, second one it uh, stars uh, Jason Bateman and the only person that come, that appears in both of them is the, the basketball coach uh, who appears in both in the second one, uh, uh, the guy from Adam's family is in it. I can't remember his, his actual name, his real name. Uh, John Eston, I think. Yeah, from the Adam's family. But uh, yeah, he's in that one. But uh, the second one is basically he's uh, Michael J. Fox or Scott's uh, cousin, and uh, he's also turns into a wolf, Jason Bateman, and the same, basically same kind of plot to the, to the movie. He gets popular and all that and he's supposed to be a, he's not really that good in, in sports but uh, he gets full scholarship on, uh, on to college on, on it and uh, he's trying to be a, bo a boxer like the boxing team he, he's on sucks, it's not very, not very good and uh, he gets a victory uh, uh, of course in the boxing ring as a as the wolf and then uh, same thing happens to him with love interest and all the stuff from basically the first one, so they're both they're both similar, but uh, uh, both uh, the second one he finds out that he doesn't have to be the wolf to be popular and stuff. So uh, some kind of not really similar endings, but it's what you expect. But uh, the Team Wolf and Team Two, Team Team Wolf One and Two, awesome, and it's uh, one of these uh, clipper discs with the both movies on the same disc and there are no special features no both are rated PG first one came out in 1985 second one came out in 1987 so and the first one I think is better than the second one I, I recommend you if you have both I'd say you watch probably watch the first one I think it's better than the second one they should have had Michael J. Fox in the second one too and the and the similar same cast but it would have been cool but yeah I think it was also a TV show back in the day too but uh, yeah, Team Wolf 1 and 2, that's my review. I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, like I said, if you haven't seen them, I guess spoil the, the ending, but uh, it's got some cool endings on both. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, please uh, catch me in the next one.